Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to Fables. This one is going to be the lore episode. But I'm, all I'm gonna do in this one is read the books. So if you're not interested in the lore, that's okay. Our last band. Well, they were reckoning. Save used to do a very little, only a few days removed. Most of that time, we were helpless larvae. Marriage, marriage, marked the end of our life. It's inconceivable nowadays. For one, we don't remember being a larva. Truly becoming an adult is like being born, and then we get to enjoy this beautiful land for many years. Try to pity our ancestors, who had to give up life sooner to become aware of it. Alright. The crowning of Elizabeth the Second. After tears were shed over Elizabeth's too soon sudden too sudden retirement, it was time to crown the new king. Queen. Elizabeth's two speech radiated powerful kindness, leaving many uneasy. Everyone cheered, down fear festered among the populace. They could only wait and pray as our new queen would you be just. Next book. Ladybug Exile. It had been one moon after she took the throne. Farmer ants kept reporting the disappearance of many aphid eggs. After a thorough investigation, a band of 17 ladybugs were found to be the culprits. Yes, 17! She rejected restricted entry for most ladybugs from the ant kingdom. Book is written, many spectral supermarkets required for them to visit. It's a very controversial and most criticized decision. It remains to be seen how our generation will handle the ships and the cars by this event. Lesser bugs. After the days of awakening, we bugs changed form. We evolved to be able to live as we do now. But not all bugs evolved. Some or we remained untouched by the awakening. Some call them lesser bugs. Spiders, midges, weevils, and some others do not gain sentience. They remain unchanged. The causes for that are still being researched, but unless in the day of awakening happens, it's difficult to study the changes. However, to conclude, lesser bugs have been more, become more ferocious and will attack bugs that come near them. Every other seven. It's Christian and the Roaches. There's been something that brought the first settlers of Bulgaria, bringing upon the creation of the Anking. According to legends, it is said that Eating one of his leaves will grant immortality to the bug that eats it. Ooh. Only clue about this is artifacts mentioned in the ancient text. They say only one resides in Snake Mountain. They just proved too, quite, too much to conquer it. Was it made by the bushes truly? Or could it have been caused by the bushes to vanish? I hope the chapter of history will remain cleared up in my adopt time. Say by then. During Snake Round, I mean, during Elysian's first rule, roaches that lived in Snake Mouth Den were faced with a sudden demise. One night, all the roaches lived there were gone, and buggy monsters appeared. Itachi? Exhibition sent her over in separate losses, so search has been put on for hold. Snake Mouth Den is rumored to be the host of many ancient crystals. Could this be the case? Bees! Bees are close eyes with the vans, and they came in shortly after Elysian 1, even the first, settled down these lands. They became famous themselves, and knowledge of events was made from Bardic Jones slowly took over the honey's production. Many bees of the newer generation, bearing scholars, do not fully understand how to make it. The size is mostly composed of females, with males reside in the queen's chambers. Ooh. Although they've been around long before Lesbian's first arrival, the wasps live outside of Bulgaria. Thus, ants hold little, little title the first settlers. They control most of the northern territory, composing the farther grass lands and southern and wild swamp lands, and will attack anyone that intrudes. Mm, there's a little bit of internal conflict, and in, uh, even the well younger well are the uh, military combat tactics. Ooh. Termites. Termites, like the wasp, lived in these lands before they lived in the first, and like them, the Vasa Bulgaria. An isolationist society, they say the termites were close allies of the roaches, as they possess advanced technology within their dome. Unlike bees and ants, the termites possess both male and female soldiers and work in society. They are also very good booters and know how to use clay very well. Alright. Roaches. The oldest bugs that rose after what they call the Day of the Awakening. Having mastered the arts of crystals, the civilization rose atop this abundant power source. However, a sudden disappearance many speculated on the reason. The popular sentiment is some more of a civil war by civil society to Kringle. Personally, I doubt it. Surely some have remained then. If some roaches did survive, they lived far from Bulgaria. Perhaps I even know what their ancestors did. Okay. The last art of flight. Insects can fly in great distances. Nowadays, only the bees, wasps, and other species seem to retain their privilege. Even though most bugs continue to persist wings. 
Today, life isn't an easy flight, so perhaps we need to click it a bog past it. Could it be that one day bees will no longer flap their wings any longer? Mantic claws! Mantis usually have claws instead of hands for the day of the reckoning. What a weird way to live. How are they able to host up, make art, or even cook nowadays? Think about it. That might be why we have affinity for sharp tools. Fascinating. Some of us are men and men might still have claws instead of hands. Such a pity. Ancient crystals. Many crystals exist around the world filled with a mysterious power. The old virtues learn how to carry some magic, and crystals are now used to power forces for many machinery and other things. The crystals affect the crystals, crystals are known, making them relatively safe. Safe. Situation and tales mention that sometimes sounds can be heard from them in quiet left place. Probably fake. I forgot to say these crystals appear at the same time the day of the awakening started, suggesting a link between them and that event. Are those the roaches? Family servers. Two sexes. Social and loners. Probably a loner then. A single queen, the mother of the colony. Well, all digital siblings, they do not tend to see it that way. Mmm. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> they go closer to their choice, creating their own family cell. So, so bugs are separated into workers and siblings. Workers are born to protect and take care of the running colony. Workers take their job very seriously and will fulfill their duties the best they can. Business some workers have been built to lean a loner in life. This too can be an evolution. Civilians form family bands, which is more easy to take care of the colony where. You know that social bugs refer to the queen as mother is considered a taboo. Queen however has freedom to call theirs or children. So is fair? Something about pollen collected from bear gear follows causes the pony pollution here to be super sweet, but also super vile. When it looks too thick or teed up too much, it becomes alive and turns into a being called Obama honey. So now just trying to figure out what causes the honey to turn into these beasts. Many times put forward fragments in the bug area bring cold but there's no clear to the Berries of currency? It is unknown how long bugs have been using these types of berries as currency, but it's a very effective method. Hard, long lasting berry and bitter, these berries are almost never eaten for their horrible taste. Their small size is perfect for carrying around them too. There have been recorded cases of some bugs actually enjoying eating these berries, but almost no one can stomach their face. The cherries one. There's some rare berries in the bug area that are worth a lot. A lot! We call them dark cherries. Red kind of products have been found in the eastern land, but due to how common they are, they aren't sought after. The dark variants certainly seem to have grown in the underground, meanwhile the red ones grow in tall trees. In any case, some bugs have a keen sense of smell for dark cherries. They're hired to find them so that they will be sold to collectors. Alright. Error of Deceit. After the day of awakening, not all bugs stood equally in society. Many ants, bees, and wasps, and other fellow evolved with the rest. Main long disputes and frustration occur because of this. Thankfully, the passing of time, all bugs experience the awakening. Since the day of awakening, we are mature faster, but our infant stage is still critical. It can be events where the caterpillar or grub stages get interrupted, causing unforeseen consequences. Once not careful, the long lane can turn to a dangerous lurker bug. The series must be protected and treasures are at cost, so that our future generations will suffer our fate. Ooh. Magic! Magic is a common and few bugs are able to use it. Some beasts theorize the crystal exposure can grant magic powers, but testing yours is no fruit. Legendary wizard that lives in these lands uses experiment with crystals to learn their magic properties. Recently disappeared. We all know how crystals relate to the magic disappeared with him. Rumors have said that he might be living in the far grass lands, but no traces of him are able to The spider guy! Mother of a crystal. Deep underground below the first second lands, there's a massive crystal. So crystal must be linked to wide blue areas, the haven in this world. The ancient rose protects the specimen of the heavens during the sky of the awakening, pressing this the day of the awakening, pressing the sky. They say that because of protects Bulgaria from outside world's perils. Some say that it's tied to Goss's Venus, but those with the idea of the golden settlement. Although personally, I would prefer not to speculate using folklore. So the study is necessary, but the termites were aimed when digging under the first lands. The relations between the kingdom improved, which in the crystal is currently impossible. The Deadlands. The gigantic feral beasts that surround Bulgaria. It's uncanny how we've gotten used to them. This isn't the first way of the Deadlands riddled with those creatures to ensure our peace. Little Bulgaria is predicted by the Mother Crystal. I struggle to write when I. I struggle to write with when I think what of could have happened when that crystal loses power. Ooh. Northern Kingdom. I'd be on the swamp land and say the Northern Kingdom, from the vast majority of mini beetles. They are very traditionalist and hold honor above everything else. However, travel to Bulgaria to escape 
the dead lands extend. The focus area is hard enough, but the north house is the swamp, filled with dangerous creatures. To avoid the wasp hostility, you must take the long route around their kingdom. It's the most insane of trips. Truly, the lives of the northerners are an easy one. Alright. Eastern lands. The far east of Bulgaria lay the dead lands we hear so much. Monsters everywhere, and a feeling of utter dread. Who knows how, but I break through the odds eventually and reach the eastern kingdom. It's so different compared to the Bulgaria. It's seen many exotic fruit and many turtles that can be found in our kingdom. Many citizens live in a very close community that stuns death others. The only exception to this is the rest of bugs that resemble fruits. Pumpkin guys? Other friendly, other eastern bugs appear to be stay clear of them. Is the smell too sweet? I don't make it back to Bulgaria. I'm glad I got to meet them. The giants. Every day, more artifacts pop up. Given their size and unknown purpose, scholars believe giants roam these lands. They could have existed all over the known world in giant kingdoms to protect them from the dead land. When the day of awakening happened, the giants must have vanished. Only the artifacts remain. There's no way to know, is there? Maybe they caused the awakening themselves. Perhaps they fell to the dead lands or created themselves. Maybe someday they will return to the Kuhimaru old home. Maybe they will have left for another world. I'm a bug of facts. Even I am just pretty dreaming about their fate. Guess we have the monuments showing us glimpses of the days past. And the day of reckoning. The following cannot be confirmed, having been retrieved from a book in the Rich's village ruins. According to this book written by Rochard, Rodrick, the Roach Scholar, we call the day of awakening. Roach is called the day of reckoning. It was an event where they woke up to the world. They share our belief that before the day, we were not different from the lesser bugs among us. A cataclysm happened suddenly, which banished the once fabled giants to another world. Only bugs and some other creatures were left in this world. After the second cataclysm, the roaches became sentient, giving birth to civilization. Other books by Roderick mentioned fire raining down from the sky and destroying the earth. Expeditions have not yet found craters or traces of such a disaster. This concept mentioned in roach, roach texts suggests it was a big part of the culture, or could it be a religious creation myth? Roderick, were you lying? How are you supposed to find out? Curses. I'll keep this book hidden away until I can find the truth. I'll head to the eastern lands once more if I have to. Right. Well, that was all the books. That's all, that's all for the lore episode, I think. Did I get anything cool for that? Aye. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you eventually. This is just for like people who want to know the all the book lore and stuff. Bye bye.